Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us out into the middle of the ocean where we enter in Nashatar, the hidden city that was washed away during the Sundering <laughs> and the uh, home of the Queen Ashara. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, this video is going to be a three part video. The only reason I'm saying that is because I'm just warning you now. These are going to come out in three separate parts. So the first part of the video, we are going to be exploring the right side of Nashatar and seeing what we can find. The left side will be the second part of the video. And then the last part will be exploring the gate of the queen, which there's a lot to cover and see over there. Now, let's get started. But before we begin, though, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel. Everybody's just been amazing with love and support. If you are not currently subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot with growing the channel, with getting it out there and, and helping it. Um, being marketed on YouTube. So I would appreciate all your support and uh, please like the video subscribe to the channel if you have not and uh, it just helps me and the uh, all things their channel a lot. So uh, second if you have not joined the ATN discord, I highly encourage you to do so. We're having a lot of fun in there. We've been meeting new people every day. There's over a hundred active members now. It's just a lot of fun in there. Come join. We'd love to meet you. We'd love to say hi to you. Last thing, I am officially affiliated with GamingHero.io. It is a official website to help you farm and make gold in World of Warcraft. They do not sell you gold, so it's nothing illegal. <laughs> but uh, they will help you do that. So you can uh, farm. They will help you provide guides on farming gold, getting mounts, and uh, collecting toys. So if you're really big into that stuff go check out my affiliate link it's on the youtube page i'll also put it down in the comment section below all right now this glitch i'm going to show you how to do it and uh, i'm going to show you how to get out of nashatar so as we are here in the beginning area over here by tides fall in the alliance shipwrecked area there is a corner of the ship over here where you can get on top of right here and uh if you notice, sorry, right over here, my bad. I'm on the wrong corner already. You can actually drop down here, or you should be able to drop down, yep. And uh, you can place one of your uh, pillows, the green couch, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna place the green couch. As you see, it's going to fall down. Now, when it falls, what we're gonna wanna do is just drop down, fly over to the couch, and click on it. And there we go. We are officially already out of Nashatar. So as you can see, this is going to be a lot of fun. Now there is a lot to explore out here. We are already in the water, but we're not drowning yet because technically we're not inside. Oh, okay. Never mind. We are breathing. I lied. I thought that we were running out of breath here. So like I said, we're going to do part one and we're going to start this way on the exploration. Now there is a lot of... Um, stuff to look at but also just this just is going to be a really fun exploration so i'm going to stay in havoc and uh, i'm also going to drink a potion nice first try the noggin fogger elixir over here and we're going to become a skeleton so we can breathe underwater we're also going to um get rid of our eye beam and we're gonna jump on our fathom dweller so let's go take a look around now, as you can see, when we first get out of Nashatar, there is a lot of cool stuff out here. You can see the great turtles. You can also take a look at a bunch of the sea life, but we're not going to go over there. We're going to save that for the next video. We're going to head this way, and we're going to go right first. Now, I will warn you, coming out here, there's a lot of water. Not only water, but also a lot of places where you will go in fatigue and then you'll drop and then you'll swim again and then you'll go in fatigue and then you'll drop and then you'll swim again. It's a lot. So um, just be wary of that. So our first stop over here is going to be by one of the really cool upward waterfalls that's going out this way. Now this is going to be one of my all time favorite out of bounds. Because uh, it's so pretty out here, and it's just really cool to look at and see 
how Blizzard created Nashatar and the things they did. Now, we're going to come over probably to one of our first drops here. There you go. But we're okay because we're Demon Hunter and we can just glide around. And we can get a really good look at the sea turtle up close here. And you can actually walk on the ground here. So we can walk down here. And as you can tell, there is a spear. Oh, it's a Dead Alliance character. That's so sad. So, that's sad to see. Our poor Alliance friends. But, as we look up, you can actually get a better look at the sea turtles. <laughs> so that's really cool. And the dolphins swimming about. So if you ever wanted to see one of the dolphins up close in the game, here you go. This is your time. Also, the stingrays, or hawk ray, as they call them here. And there's also another abyssal hawk ray over here, actually, as well. So we're going to get some cool sea life scenery in this out-of-bounds area. So if you love the ocean, you love the atmosphere of the ambience of the ocean, this is definitely the OOB for you, as you get a lot of cool things out here. And I love the effect of the waterfall. I love seeing all of uh, Nashatar and its glory. We're going to take a couple screenshots here because we got some cool things. But we're going to continue on and we're going to go out this way. So we're actually we're going to go swim up and we're going to go get on top of the rocks up here. And I'm going to show you a little bit outside. Now I'm glad it is sunny. I have done this OOB when it's nighttime. It's not as fun because you can't see as much. Or it's harder to see, you know. Now, you, would hit, you will hit some walls over here, so be careful with that. Um, just be careful with going back into bounds, as you might get stuck. I haven't actually gone out here yet, so just be aware. We're going to jump back on our Fathom Dweller here. Oops. All right, we're going to keep making our way out this way. Now, you guys probably remember our good friend, Ansumat, from the... Um, What's the dungeon, uh, the one I was trying to break out of so hard? Uh, Throne of the Tides, there we go. So as you can see, our beautiful friend Asimot right up close here. And actually, what we can do is because we can get on the ground here, we should be able to fly. See, this is a weird out of bounds just because it's awesome, but it's also weird because you're going to hit a lot of fatigue and different things like that. So we do got to be careful out here. But I'm hoping we can get up to Asimat and give you guys a better look at him up close. He's kind of freaky looking. Let's get another cool picture out here. It's really awesome to see these bosses up close that you don't normally get to, but we're going to die, so we need to actually get out of the fatigue. So let's head over here. Ooh, we're going to barely just make it here. There we go. Yeah, so like I said, just be careful when you're coming out here. There's a lot to see, but the fatigue is everywhere. So you got to got to keep kind of got to keep moving and looking at things. Now, I am drinking a Coke Zero today. Trying to avoid sugar and carbs as much as possible. I've been on a diet lately. <laughs> I've lost over 20 pounds already, so I'm very proud of myself. Uh, so, that's really cool. You get to see Asimot. And we're going to say goodbye to him. And we're going to keep on swimming. And we're going to go take a look at the underwater city over here. Of the Highborn. Now, as we come up closer, we're actually going to see an untextured cube on the wall over here. That's really strange, kind of like uh, we see in other dungeons. Now, what this is supposed to be, I don't know. It wasn't textured. We also might lose our mount again coming up, so we're definitely going to have to fly. But there also is some shipwrecks over here, so let's go take a look and swim out this way and see what we can find. Now, we are in the fatigue, so we do got to be careful. But this is a wonderful OOB. There is just some really cool things to look at here. I love the turtles. Just the sea life is, I don't know, there's something peaceful about it when you're swimming around. 
It's too bad that um, in Cataclysm the underwater um, didn't do as well as people would have. I would have hoped. So I really do like the uh, underwater scenes a lot in World of Warcraft. I like them a lot. A lot of people didn't like them, unfortunately. Now what's kind of weird here is there's no water. So the sea turtles are kind of just swimming on midair here. But you would never know that looking in. Okay, now we got water. And you can kind of see the dolphins do their thing as they're swimming around. Alright, let's keep swimming out this way. And let's go see if we can find what's next. We're going to be going over... By the drowned market. Oh, here we go. We did find the whale shark. This is actually a hidden boss out here in the distance. Now, you can't attack it or anything. It's just part of the scenery here. <laughs> Alright, we're coming on to some really cool ancient city coming on here. Well, let's go take a look what's going on. Now, I keep dropping, and then I keep swimming, and then I keep dropping, so I'm trying to step. There we go. <laughs> it's like I want to stay on my, you know, my my swimming mount, but then it keeps dropping me, so... Like I said, this dungeon's weird. Or not dungeon, but this Out of Bounds is weird because... You're going to drop, and you're going to swim a lot. Oh, it is raining on us in the water here. That's kind of different. Oh, just in that spot. Okay. Look at this giant dude coming up here. I think that was a whale shark we saw earlier, right? Yeah, okay, same guy, same guy. It's a huge boss, though. Can we get on our Fathom Dweller? We can. Let's go take a look at these underwater city that has been destroyed here. Now hopefully we can do some walking around here, which it looks like we can, so that's good. And we're hitting some water. Now I'm going to turn off my mic for just a second, because I want to get you all just kind of in the atmosphere and kind of showing you exactly what it kind of feels like. I do want to get out of the fatigue first so we don't die, but just to kind of get a glimpse and breathe it all in of what you're kind of looking at here with the... Underwater city of Nashatar here. But there is so much fatigue. I don't know if we're going to be able to actually get out of it. Oh, here's one of the turtles up close. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Not very rendered well, right? I mean, the models are just okay. The dolphins do look good, I will admit. And the stingrays or uh, hawk rays look good as well. Dolphins look awesome. I wish as a hunter I could get a dolphin as a pet. That would be awesome. Alright, we are falling again. Now, currently we are in the drowned market. Hopefully I can get to a spot where I can kind of hang out for a moment without getting hit with fatigue. But it looks like everywhere is fatigued. So here we go. I do love the atmosphere in this place. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, it looks like our Noggin Fogger potion wore off, but that's okay. We should be okay. Let's see if we can take a look around this city area over here. And we can fly, so that's cool. Okay, so that's the line right there, okay. We are making our way around. Dang, there is a lot to see out here. I 
I love that effect of the water. I thought Blizzard did a great job. Everything. Just being like in a... Like in a submarine. <laughs> or like an aquarium, right? In a World of Warcraft. The music fits perfectly as well. Well, it looks like we're coming to an end of the city. We're going to be entering the Gate of the Queen coming up. Ooh, the dolphins are talking, if you guys hear that. It's just so awesome. I love this OOV. I really do. I think being out of bounds in the water is so cool. Uh, it's just an awesome effect they got going on out here. And I really appreciate the work they've done. Alright. Unfortunately, we have hit fatigue again. So let's keep swimming out this way and see what else we can find. Do need to get out of the fatigue here. There we go. Ah, so we did find the gate of the queen over here. All right, awesome. Well, guys, I don't want to spoil anything for the last video. Because the last video is going to have probably the most prettiest stuff. One of the coolest looking things you've ever seen in a WoW uh, game. So I'm definitely going to save that for now. Um, I just want to thank you guys for watching part one of Nashatar. I'm going to be releasing these in order. Um, probably next... Well... We'll see. We'll see. You guys will see them drop. Um, and then I'll be release them in a consecutive day. So I'll, I'll do the right side first. I'll go do the left side. And then I'll do the last part, which is the gate of the queen. And uh, then I'll upload them in consecutive days. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching part one. And this is Nashatar. I highly encourage you. If you have never been out here, come check it out. It's a lot of fun. And uh, it's just cool to see everything outside of bounds. So... As always, my name is Nathan. Take care.